finally tonight, the monarch butterfly was recently declared endangered around the world. Well, the Western population is most at risk, declining by 99 percent over the last 40 years. CBS's Deborah Alfaron spent time with some children working to change that. These students. We are looking for weeds. At St. Joan of Arc School in Aberdeen, Maryland. There are milkweed. Are saving the migratory monarch butterfly. There's also lavender. This garden is one of about 3,000 certified monarch way stations at schools across the country. It grows milkweed, which the monarch caterpillar needs to live. They are pollinators, so they help the reproduction of um, flowers. But the garden might not be here if it weren't for two forces of nature. One is former principal Tracy Tokarski. She strived for her students to be better than they even thought they could be. Tokarski died unexpectedly right before school started last year. It makes me feel pretty awesome that she like she started this and that we get to carry on her legacy. What's so special about the monarch butterfly? It's about charisma. Chip Taylor is that second force. The insect ecologist founded Monarch Watch at the University of Kansas 30 years ago. Let's see your shirt. <laughs> plant milkweed. Inspiring schools to plant these gardens. Give it a little push down. And organizing the tagging of the butterflies to gather insight about their yearly migration to Mexico. If we're losing monarch butterflies, we're losing other species. There's no, no question about that. And potentially losing lessons this garden can teach, says new principal Diane so Kessler. And we use it so, so often to teach the children so many things, caring for the earth, uh, the life cycle. After two million butterflies tagged, a million milkweeds planted, and 40,000 gardens certified, it's time for Chip to spread his wings. Why is it time to retire now? You're not 85 years old yet. Leaving the fight to save nature's icon of conservation to the next generation. Oh, and look at that. Go, butterfly, go! In Aberdeen, Maryland, Deborah Alfaron, CBS News.